my goodness, he's broken into my house. I think we, I think we've done the glitch. Oh my goodness, I think we did it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> what is going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to you, and welcome back today to Hello Neighbor Alpha 1. So in the first part, we have been exploring the, uh, the second ever release of Hello Neighbor. And um, yeah, if you've watched the first half, you'll know that we've done a couple of things. We've dug up the grave. Um, we've frozen the shark and we would and we put the teacher in the classroom now If you watch that video within the first maybe five or six minutes or whatever I tried to do this glitch which gets the neighbor stuck in our house and I couldn't do it So I just stopped for two seconds turns out. I've just done it. Did you see that he runs across here? He jumps through the window, but then I think gets stuck inside our house which is so weird, isn't it? I'm quite happy that I managed to do that. But this means we get full access to the neighbor's house. And we can go and do everything that we want to to finish this off. Which is awesome. And I'm guessing this is the reason why they released many pre-alphas. Because things happen like this. Um, so, okay. And now I need to remember, basically, what we do in order to do all of these things. So, oh yeah. I got the pneumatic drill at the end of last episode. And... I can't quite remember where it goes, but I remember there was some kind of wall that we used it on. Um, oh, yes, I do remember now. We have to get the gun. Because it's through there, isn't it? Can we sneak through here? Oh, no, wait, hang on. Yeah, we need a special key. The key is 300. So we need to get the gun. And I think getting the gun involves doing these um, these maths problems, right? So, 1 plus 4 is 5. Oh, God, I can't remember these. 9 minus 2 uh, is 7 times... No, there's no 21. Oh, God, I'm terrible at maths. I, um... um, <laughs> um hang on, let me, let me try and work this out. Hang on, let me... Hang on. Bear, bear with, guys, bear with. Oh, there we go! Yeah, we did it! Woohoo! <laughs> Apparently, 9 minus 2 times 3 is 3. I have no idea why. Is that right? Is that wrong? I have not done maths for a very, very, very long time. Not not like number maths and stuff, you know what I mean? It's easier when it's not in Hello Neighbor. <laughs> but there we go, boom! So you have to do the maths problems. Now, this is the reason why we got the teacher. Because if you try and do the maths problems without having the teacher... Um, these invisible students basically throw paper aeroplanes at the board and knock off the numbers. So you need the teacher at the front of the classroom in order to do that. Now, I think this is kind of cool because throughout the Hello Neighbor versions, especially in the nightmare in Alpha 4, there was that crazy classroom nightmare, wasn't there? Where you had, um, mannequins running at you through the school corridors, and then at the very, very end a mannequin jumps out at you and you have to beat it down in order to get out of that nightmare and gain the ability. So there's definitely some kind of like classroom style things going on. Uh, and these are the reasons why I wanted to replay these because we can start like tying things together and seeing how things develop throughout the game. So yeah, now that we've got the gun, we can actually do the gun puzzle thing. So we put the gun, I think, on the thing. Yes, I'm going to stop crouching. And we click the button i think how do we do this again do we just hang on how do we do we shoot the button hang on we can put the gun on there okay how do we make the how do we make it start oh did i turn off the power ah i think i turned off the power okay so hopefully the neighbor is still stuck in my house <laughs> and i'm more than happy for him to stay there to be honest with you we had a many many uh, neighbor dodging incidents in the first part. So, turn the power back on. That should be good. Okay, all of his cameras have gone back on. I'm hoping that's not going to trigger him, which is the only thing I'm slightly worried about, but it should be okay. So, let's get back up here as quickly as possible. Yeah, look, the lights have gone on. Okay, so now we can do this. Hang on. Click. Click. How do you not... Why do you not click? Can we shoot the button? How do we make this go? I'm clicking E. Oh, there it is. It started. It started. It started. Okay, where is it? Hey. I saw something pop up. Did you see that as well? 
Huh. Okay. Do it again. There we go, there we go. Now we're, now we're talking. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Boom, oh, what a shot. Oh, he's hit four out of four, lads. Are you kidding? What a hero. Is that it? Oh, there's the key. Hey, we got the key. And we also got another lockpick. Interesting. Did you see us hit four out of four there? That was pretty heroic, wasn't it? Look at that. Boom. Okay, awesome. So now remember, if we go in here, let's have a little look around on the floor. We've got that weird picture of assuming the neighbor and his son, which some people think is us, but I don't know. Um, okay. So this now goes out to the corridor where the lift is. Ah, but yeah, this is why we need the pneumatic drill. Because we can drill through the wall, as you do. Look at that. Hey. Oh, I love this game. I miss this game so much. It's such a great game. Uh, okay, so this is like a secret hidden wall thingamajiggy. And if we go through... What time is it? Oh, okay, pretty cool. Okay, let's go through here. Oh! <gasps> Oh, yes. Now I remember. Super weird. So this is like a kid's bedroom. And look at all of the pictures. You've got like a wife, a husband, and a kid. Now, there's lots of theories about these pictures and stuff. But some people think that that's the neighbor. That's his wife who is no longer like around. And that might be us. <laughs> Uh, but there we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So, burn the bear for a key. Now, I have no idea what key that is. I'll do it. But I'm not too sure what it is exactly. Look at this. Some weird artwork around here. This one, like, stands out because it's really, like, creepy. As opposed to all of the other ones that are just not quite as creepy. And you can see the mannequin. It's like a woman over a bear, which we can take. And there's another key inside there as well. Okay, so we don't need the shovel anymore. We don't need the pneumatic drill. I'm going to take the the key, this rusty key, and I'm going to take the bear as well, because we'll need those. And then the mannequin disappears. Oh, interesting. And there's a weird door that goes nowhere. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't remember that door. Just leading out to nowhere. So weird, man. Okay, okay, so... I actually don't remember what the rusty key does. Because we've used the lock pick on the lock. Unless, of course... Oh, look, and all the TVs are on now. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, these are all the... I'm guessing the CCTV, uh, the CCTV cameras and stuff. Um... But we took the lockpick, so maybe they just du duplicate the keys in case you don't get the lockpicks. Maybe? I'm not too sure. Okay, let's burn the bear. I seem to remember that's something that we had to do. How do we get the lift to work? Does the lift work now? Oh! Door's closed. Hey, and it took us down to the ground floor. Nice. Okay, so because the power on the lift is working, I think. Um, so let's go into the... Yeah, weird mannequin looking at a thing. Okay, here's the kitchen. We haven't been in the kitchen yet. Some apples in there. I don't think there was anything in any of these. Um, was there? No. Had some apples in there, some buckets and stuff, but... This would be the bathroom, I think. Oh, no, this is his bedroom, which links to the bathroom, which links to here. So what we can do is we can open this up and we can throw the bear. Oh, God, hang on. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit trickier than you may think. Throw the bear inside. Uh, hang on, let me what about if we crouch? Okay, and throw. Damn it. Okay, what about if we just place? Can we place? There we go. Okay. So the bear is burning. Oh, do we turn this back up now? Increase the fire? I never did quite figure out what that actually did. I mean, it must do something, right? Hmm. 
Okay, so now that the 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 thing is back on, that must mean that the um the water is now water. So there's a shark in there now, which means we can't technically get across there because it will bust us. But yeah, I'm trying to rem <laughs> I'm trying to remember this. What did it actually do? Did it do anything? I feel like maybe it was just a feature that was being tested out, but they decided to go with something else instead. Maybe? I don't know. So if we go under the bed, we can get the crowbar. Um, yeah, we want the crowbar. There we go. And we can crowbar that final nail off, which would be useful. So we do a little bit like that. And then we can open that door now if we want to. Just before we do that, though, was there anything else? Or have I think we've done it? See, there wasn't a way to get into the... Um, like, into the roof or into the train. I remember that. There definitely wasn't a way of doing it unless you'd use, like, the, the trainer version for it. Um, to, like, use fly or whatever. But, yeah, I don't think there was. So, let's just have one more little look here. I don't think there was anything. Um, no. See, that was the lift. That was this room. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we were done. So, yeah, it seems like it's kind of like this was a version that they were trying other random bits and pieces out. And most of them they didn't actually keep in the game. I think all of them. They didn't keep the grave. They didn't keep the gun rack. They didn't keep freezing the shark and all that jazz. So, I think the only thing that we have left to do, really, is to open the door. Here we go. Some nice guitar music. Oh, but wait. Dun, 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 dun. Buried alive by the neighbor. <laughs> there we have it. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, was Hello Neighbor Alpha 1. So that's where the game ends. Really interesting. There's quite a few things in there that I do remember now, which were obviously scrapped for the final version. Uh, and yeah, I don't think there was anything in there that we um, we kept for Alpha 4, was there? I don't think there was. There we have it. So yeah, if you did enjoy this and you're liking going through some of the older versions of Hello Neighbor, then uh, yeah, please poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Hello Neighbor done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rancy up!